Hi everyone, we are here for Ibiza at Tomorrowland with Luca Van Damme. So, let's start with the first question. You're just 15 and it's uh, the second time you're playing uh, at Tomorrowland, right? Yes, the second time. Yeah. Uh, it's very special, I, I can be here on my 15, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy. A little bit stressy, but I think it's normal. And yeah, I uh, will enjoy it a lot. Oh, nice. You are coming straight out of the Tomorrowland Academy. Yes. And how helpful was the Academy for uh, your career and, uh, I mean, for your passion? I think it's the best uh, Academy I can wish because they help me with everything. If I have a, if I have a question, I can ask it to them. Mm. And if, if something is difficult, I can ask it to them. And they help me a lot with music production and all that things. Okay, so you would recommend it to anyone uh, yes. younger? And is it for everyone? I mean, not only for younger people, but even for the maybe most experienced one that wanted to learn something new? Yes, I think it's, it is because also people from 20, 30, 40, even older can do boot camps here, can do uh, lessons in Antwerp or anywhere else. Uh, it's very nice to do. And yeah, I recommend it to them. So how did you approach this uh, DJ world? And how did your family support you? I know that uh, your, uh, your dad is a really famous uh, pastry and, uh, and cook. And uh, actually, he is uh, cooking here? Yes, he's making oh. the waffles here. Oh, Very nice. delicious. <laughs> is you it, uh, it. <laughs> at the Mesa Garden, maybe? Uh, no, it's uh, on, the, yeah, on the festival. Oh. And uh, also on the, yeah, in the restaurant. He does something. It's very nice. Nice. And uh, they did support you in, in your yes, choice? Yes, very much. Yeah, my dad, uh, when he was younger, at six, he started... Uh, Okay, at 13, I started playing uh, DJ as well. And uh, when, I was, um, when I was born, yeah, he had a DJ uh, a mixer. Mm -hmm. And then on my six, I started playing piano. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I, I, can, I can play it. I still can play it. It's very nice. And it's very helpful in, uh, in the music production. And uh, then when he... And then when he uh, had the DJ mixer and I saw it, I immediately started playing and yeah, then the love for DJ came. <laughs> What's your favorite, uh, I mean, uh, genre right now? Um, yeah, it's a little bit harder, but like main stage sound a bit. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very nice, a little bit harder. You can say it's a bit the kick of Maddox and then, uh, I don't know if you know him, Maddox yeah, Hartwell. Yeah, uh, they, oh, yeah yes. Maddox, uh, yeah. they're actually collaborating uh, in yeah, the last sorry. times. Yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, yes. Is there any other, I don't know, um, famous DJ or um, famous DJ that you're looking up to and uh, you wanted to follow his uh, footprints? I think Hartwell, Dimitri Vegas, like Mike and Amir Van Buren, that are the DJs that now play a little bit the same style. Mm -hmm. uh, hard, but every, every people of everybody know uh, what they do and the music they play. And I think that's very important. Because, yeah, the people are always dancing with uh, if they play. So I think one of that three mm -hmm. is my idol. Uh, how do you see the, the future of uh, EDM music as, a, as well? And uh, with the, all the new technologies like AI, how would it be helpful for um, artists like you in the ne next future and for EDM, the EDM genre as a whole? Yeah, especially AI is very, uh, very, yeah, it's insane what they, what they can do it with it. But of course, the, what I do, I post every Monday a mashup mm -hmm. and then I have to extract the vocal and then I use AI to do it. And that's very helpful to do it. How do you approach your um, production and your mixing? Uh, you got like a, a workflow or uh, you're just going um, as, you, as you like? Yeah, I, sometimes I just go in the studio. I, I'm every day in the studio because I not have that much gigs mm -hmm. because I'm young and 15, so you get things normal. Every day after school, I go to my studio. And yeah, it's very nice. And then sometimes I'm just thinking of an ID and I make, I make the ID. And sometimes I just, okay, now I have to finish that song mm -hmm. because otherwise, yeah, you never will finish a song. And I think that's the difficulty of music. And yeah, I think that's, yeah. You have to do the things like from now I have to do that and that you, yeah. Otherwise you're going to, I don't know how to say, but yeah, you, it's going to be slower. Just see yourself uh, like in 10 years, like 25 years old, uh, Luca Van Damme. Yeah, what, I, where are you? Yeah, I hope, um, yeah, uh, famous a bit that everybody knows my songs. That is a dream. And, but especially I think when you say produce, 
Yeah, I w- especially I want to produce my songs and then I want to perform them live mm-hmm. because, yeah, I really like it. Today I'm also going to play an old song of me and a lot of mashups and remixes. Nice. So, yeah, that's very stressy for me also. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's the... Yeah, I love it to show my music to people and to play it for them. So I think in 10 years I want to be a DJ who has famous songs mm-hmm. and that everybody can sing it and then I play on Tomorrowland and they know it. Nice. Uh, one last question. How do you manage, uh, I don't know, maybe the stress? Uh, I, I think maybe in the last uh, years um, when uh, you came out of the academy and started playing, uh, even last year at Tomorrowland as well, uh, do you feel any stress uh, uh, or any burden, uh, mental burden about it? Yeah, I'm. of course I'm stressy, but it's health stress. I don't know if that's English, but in <laughs> Dutch we say it. Yeah, but of course I'm play, I play on Tomorrowland. I think every DJ has a little bit of stress when he plays here. Uh, yeah, so I think it's normal, but I have to handle it a bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, I think it's very normal. Thank you very much then. Thank you. And, uh, good luck for later. Thank you. <laughs>